I've already mentioned at the very beginning of all this, I mentioned the consistency. Now I'm going to say resilience. Now you're going to say, okay, well, what's the difference between being consistent and being resilient? Is that resilient is that your ability to keep going through the difficulties, whereas consistency is just to keep going. Most people quit even when things are not even difficult just because they can't keep going. But then you get the other group of people whenever they come to something difficult, some difficult times, some trials, some tribulations, they just give up. They can't take it. They can't push through those difficulties. Of course, that, that, that type of loser mentality, uh, that's, a, that's, that's the main thing. That's the main quality of a loser is that once anything difficult comes to them, they just they, they, they give up. They stop and they can't continue. So that's why they, have no, they don't accomplish anything in their lives. All of their dreams. Where, where were all the dreams? All, all of us. When we were little teenagers, uh, 15 years old, 16 years old, 17, 18 years old, whatever. We all had these dreams of things that we wanted to achieve and things we were going to, I'm going to do this in the future. What happened to those dreams? The, the, the majority of the people, they never achieve, achieve what they dreamt of achieving. It's not because it wasn't feasible. It's because they were too scared to go out and do it. And then when, or when they tried to do it, they got, they got, they got roadblocked and then they just, they just gave up. They didn't want to like push past that, those difficulties. You know, you think like my dream, like when I set that dream of going to Yemen and studying Hadith, like my, my dream was always to leave the country and go study my religion and live amongst the Muslims and learn the Arabic language and memorize the Quran and then come back to America and give da'wah. That was, that was my dream as a kid when I was young, cause I was a Muslim when I was 15 years old. So once I learned about these types of things where people can go study, that's that's what my I set my mind on. You know, now there was a point where I, I had a different dream, but once I learned that people could actually go and study the religion, memorize hadith, memorize Quran, memorize hadith, and memorize all these different sciences, that was that was it. I set my mind on that and I worked towards that. And me going to Yemen was obviously I had every single roadblock. You know, one, I just, just money. My, my financial situation was horrible. I had $11 in my pocket when I was about to get, the, get on the plane to go to Yemen. $11. You know, somebody else bought the plane ticket for me. So you just imagine that, you know, so all the roadblocks there. If I had just given up and been a punk about my dreams, well, I would have never achieved it. I went to, I was about to get on the plane with $11 and I stayed in Yemen for 15 years. So let that sink in. Let that sink in. Yes, right before I got on the plane, somebody gave me an envelope with $1,400 in it. Yes, that happened. But was I expecting that? No. I was ready to get on that plane with $11 in my pocket. All right. And I stayed there for 15 years. So imagine that. I got married, had a family, got my kids and everything. All of that happened while I was in Yemen. So would that dream have happened if I had just been a punk? And said, oh my God, Yemen is dangerous. Oh my God, I can't do this. Oh my God, the people are saying this. Nah, don't listen to the people. Again, it's laser focus. You have a dream, you have a goal, you go out, you set out and achieve that. Don't listen. Everybody was trying to tell me, oh, why don't you go to Egypt? Egypt's easier. Go to Saudi. Saudi, you can eat better. Nah, I don't care about all that stuff. I didn't, I didn't care about it then and I don't care about it now. Even right now, if I have a choice of a country to go back to right now, if I could get on a plane right now, I'm going back to Yemen, inshallah. I'm not going back to, I'm not going to go to these countries just because I can live better. I lived a lot better. It's, I live better in Saudi Arabia than I live in America. Honestly. But would I go back to Saudi Arabia? No. For Mecca? Yes. For, you know, to visit the Haramain? Yes. But to live there? No. Well, I mean, obviously I can't because I'm banned from Saudi Arabia. But even if I wasn't banned, I, I wouldn't go back there. I would never go back there to live there. I won't go back to Yemen. You know, because the, the, you, you find so much solace in those difficulties. You find so much solace and peace and tranquility when you just when you you facing your all those all those difficulties and all those, those fears and all those things. When people are telling me don't do it, you can't do this. That's too difficult. I feel I feel at peace, proving them wrong. You know, not trying to prove them wrong, proving them wrong, and that's what you should do. Prove the people wrong.